Rap out! I love screaming in the microphone first thing in the morning. Don't we all? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, episode 102, motherfuckers! <laughs> Number 102. Biochos. Mmm. Welcome. How y'all doing? It's a great day to be in the neighborhood. It's a great Majafajan day. Yeah, not really. Oh, I forgot my juice. I was supposed to get some juice and I forgot it. Oh, well. Don't need it. We don't need no distraction. We don't need no juice causing no distractions because we got shits to tack about, mon frere. And I, f- I discovered right before I started recording here that uh, the bulbous part of the microphone was unscrewed a bit. And that was causing the majority of the loud mic sounds when I touched this, okay? Still makes a bit of a racket when I touch this, but it's not as loud as it was. So I screwed it back in. All things are good. Boy. (laughs) Okay, here's the card for today. It's tradition around here to show you the card, but it's not tradition to show you what's on the card, but you'll find out because I'm going to talk about it. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, everyone. Uh, So, uh, I don't know. I've been kind of thinking about maybe I should just give a quick rundown of what we're going to talk about. Or maybe I should just jump into it topic by topic like normal. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Because like I've said in the past, sometimes I might not want to talk about the things. I might skip some shit. Oh, this is loose. This shit's going to fall apart any fucking day now. Uh, I also noticed last episode my fucking face was still too close to the goddamn microphone. Uh, so let's hope that doesn't happen again. Which it very well might. Um, first thing I want to bring to the table is, uh, what we've all, well, not all of us, but at least I've been waiting for, which is the, uh, interview between Ethan Klein and Ela Klein and Mr. Uh, (laughs) why am I forgetting his name? Fucking, uh... God damn it! Why can't I remember his goddamn name? Oh my god, what the fuck is his name? This is so embarrassing. Andrew fucking Yang, how did I forget that? You see, I got, I got, like I said, this podcast is getting uh, more and more evolved in its progression. And I'm trying to, trying to keep all these thoughts in my head right now, so... Because now I'm I'm really starting to prepare for these podcasts. For the, for pretty well the longest time, it was just completely uh, unprepared, just off the top of my head. But now I've got I'm actually taking notes, and throughout the whole day, I'm looking at what's going on in the world, and I'm figuring out what I want to talk about. So because of all that that's happening, I totally forgot fucking Andrew's name, which I cannot believe I did that. Anyway, so the the interview between Andrew Yang and Ethan and Ela. I thought it was going to go in a you know, a strange direction because you don't really see Ethan as a political figure. But you know what? And I even said that in the last episode, but you know what? He actually did a pretty decent job, I must say. Ethan brought forth to the table questions. Sorry. Questions that, you know, were pretty unique to his his whole campaign so far. Because generally, when it comes to these interviews, people either ask the same questions that have already been asked, or they just ask ridiculous questions that no one really cares about. 
But Ethan, which, you know, that's what I thought Ethan was going to do. I thought Ethan was going to head in a, in a strange direction and show him a bunch of ridiculous memes. I mean, to a certain degree, I knew he wouldn't dedicate the whole episode to doing shit like that. But um, it didn't turn out that way. He actually did a pretty decent job, I must say. If you haven't seen it, go to the H3 podcast channel and go check it out. And also check out uh, all the other interviews Andrew Yang had as well. So that's what I just wanted to... St- oh, fuck me. I do this every time. There's always... like I, There's so much p- preparation you got to do before this podcast starts. Fuck. I might have to talk about this other stuff in another episode. In the next episode, which is what I might do. I'm just going to make a quick note here. Okay, so here's the deal. I was, as I was preparing, I have so much stuff on the table right now to talk about uh, that I forgot to research one of the two main topics that I wanted to bring forth here. So I might just got to make a note here. Bring those over to the fucking next episode. Because I didn't research them at all. Um, I mean, if there's time after I talk about um, the stuff I've already got planned and ready to go, then I, I might touch on these other topics. Um, but if not, then next episode we'll definitely talk about them. They're not they're not topics that need to be discussed right away, but the ones I have prepared for today need to be talked about right away. I'm starting to see my methods uh, paying off, just slightly. You know, this is still the beginning. I'm only 100 episodes in. But episode 100 and episode 101, due to what I've implemented in the knowledge I've learned through YouTube, not just... Not just what I do in the video, but how I uh, market the video. I've been doing that more and more properly and more and more better, more and more quickly. And by quickly, I mean getting the content out as fast as it's produced. Because you got to get it out as soon as possible before all the other people talk about the topic. And then... You know, these topics, uh, when, it, when, it, when it comes to, um, what's the word? But, 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 <laughs> I've said it before, why can't I remember it? Current events, when it comes to current events, they do not, the story does not last long. It comes, and then as quick as it came, it goes. Unless it's a major, major, major story, and even then still doesn't last that long so you got to get your stuff out there as quick as possible and then there's all the other shit you got to implement but i'm not going to talk about it but what i'm saying is i've received i'm receiving uh the views according to the way i'm doing what i'm doing which is which i still have no views by the way so i'm not saying it's like you know, I'm not anywhere close to there yet, but I'm just seeing some progress. So I know I'm heading in the right direction. But anyway, what the fangly fuck is going on here? Hold on. Wait, is this it? Oh, bok, oh, bok choy. Oh, I see. Okay, hold on. I'm, I, uh... I'm. F- I gotta scroll back down to where I was. Fuck this fucking shit. What the hell? Okay, here it is. <laughs> I fucked up. Okay, it happens. All right, people. Enough of the chit chat. Enough of the intro bullshit. Let's get into the topics. I already touched on Ethan. We're going to touch on Ethan again, but not quite yet. I just got to talk about some other shit first. 
So Ethan? No, we'll get we'll get to that in a second. Like I said, I'm not gonna talk about Ethan. Remember, I started off. Well, let's just not. Let's. We'll get to Ethan <laughs> in a minute here. I gotta talk about Walmart for a second because just today, well, for me, just today. Bah. Walmart announced that they are making a slight change to their company, uh, America Wide, to help uh, not promote gun violence. Now you might be thinking, "Oh, good for Walmart." Well, just 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 hear me out for a second, okay? So, uh. We all know the El Paso shooting happened very recently. Over 20 people dead. Or 20 people, you know, around there. There's The reason I say that is because there's multiple sources with multiple different uh, answers as to how many people were killed. But it's somewhere around 20. Some say 20, some say 19, some say like 22. It's very inconsistent, the numbers, so I don't know what's true. But it's around there. Um, uh, uh, but also there's been shootings at Walmart in the past, okay? And if you did not know, because you do not live in America, turns out, now I'm Canadian, so turns out all the Walmarts in America sell weapons. And I don't just mean knives and shit. I mean guns. They sell, The Walmarts in America sell guns. They sell guns, yeah, boy! Uh, so, they not only do they sell guns, but they've had multiple gun um, attacks in, either in the store or in the parking lot of the store, okay? So, what are you thinking? You're thinking right now that, oh, Walmart must be stopping the, uh, the, the, the selling of, of, of weapons and, and, or guns, I should say, at their store. Well, you would think that, but that's not what they did. Because you see, Walmart, as well as a lot of politicians and dumbass newscasters, journalists, not all, but some are under the impression that video games and, according to Walmart, movies as well uh, entice all this gun violence. They, they are putting video games and movies as the blame. But they're u- in, real, in reality, they're using it as a scapegoat because they, you know... It's gotten to the point where they're saying to themselves, well, we don't want to stop selling our guns, so we should just do something to make it look like we're at least making an effort. Um, So what they decided to do is this. Uh, I should have hit record a bit earlier, but I didn't, so let's go ahead and hit record right now. You can go on Twitter, okay, or anywhere. Go on Fatbook, Fuckbook, Snap, Snap Crap, any of those, but uh, you know, Twitter's Twitter's a good source. Type in hashtag boycott Walmart, and you'll see this. People are calling for a boycott of Walmart. Why? Well, the company removed some violent video game displays after a mass shooting at a store location in El Paso. However. The store will continue to sell guns. So that's a li- that's a little snippet of what happened. But but here's here's what here's what here's what's going on. Walmart decided that they're gonna stop all advertising of violent video games, violent movies in their store. They're still gonna sell video games. They're still gonna sell the movies. They're just not going to advertise the movies. Meaning, well, I'm not exactly sure what that means. 
obviously, you know how that, well, like, I assume it's, like, they have the cardboard displays of, like, check out this movie, check out this video game. But are, but are they actually going to, like, not show the cover of the video games in the movies? Is it just going to be the title or something like Blockbuster used to do? I don't know. But uh, what I do know is, okay, first off, I don't believe video games and movies are the issue here, which if you're any sort of sane person, you should agree. Uh, the only people who disagree are either old, curmudgy, old, crusty pieces of, no, old people who don't understand, who've never held a controller before. Or that's it. <laughs> okay? The people who actually play video games understand it's not the issue. So, with that being said, if it happened to be that video games and movies were the issue, wouldn't it make more sense to just stop selling that shit? What is not advertising it going to do? People are still going to know about the video games and movies through YouTube and, well, everywhere on the internet, okay? And plus there's advertising outside of Walmart, you know. So it's not, and, and you know, even if they're not exposed to the advertisements, they still have the ability to go to the store, read the title, and buy it, okay? So if... If the if Walmart really thinks that video games and movies are the issue, then why why are why are they still selling them? You know, I hundred percent think that they need to still sell them and still advertise, because that shouldn't even be in question as the issue here. But also, like, they they didn't even mention the guns that they sell. You know, if you're not going to advertise something, don't advertise the goddamn guns. Don't sell the guns. They didn't even mention the guns. All they mentioned was the video games in the goddamn movies. Because we got these old crusty farts running big corporations like Walmart. And they grew up with a gun. And their daddy took them out in the forest and they shot some shit and... And when they was growing up, they, 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 daddy told them if someone came on day line, they wish had the right to shoot them. But then all of a sudden they grew up, had some babies, and they babies want to play some video games? Not on my watch. You get that fucking shit out of here. That's the problem. I'll shoot your ass if you play a video game, you see what I'm saying? You gonna play them games? I'm gonna shoot you. Then you can't shoot anybody. Problem solved. Keep the guns. Stop the entertainment. Yep. I don't know. You gonna boycott Walmart? Probably not. Because Walmart happens to be one of the cheapest retailers to buy products from. Not only that, but when they open up in your city, goodbye sm small family-owned businesses. Cause they can't compete. Their prices is too low at Walmart. They can't compete. You're gonna go to Walmart. What are you gonna do? Pay twenty bucks for, for a for a melon, at a local grocery store? Or are you gonna pay ninety nine cents at Walmart? You can't beat them prices. Walmart always wins. Man, this podcast is is heading down the drain quick. God damn. Let's make it a little more sad, don't we? You know what? No, fuck that. Okay? Ethan himself, I bring him up way too much, but I'm a big fan. He he said this the other day and I and I was so happy when he said it. It's not always laughs and gaffs and goofs and gags. <laughs> you gotta embrace the realities 
of the world in front of you. You understands? Okay? Yeah, it's fun to have fun. But when stuff is going on in the world, like people getting their faces blown off, well then, you know what? We had we need to we need to stop with the laughing and just take a moment and communicate with each other that there's something going on. There's an issue. We need to we need to look at it straight in the face. And try to come up with a solution. Together. This sounds so cheesy. <laughs> but you know what? Every once in a while we got to do that. We can't just laugh and gaff all the time. We've been doing it too long, folks. And look where it's gotten us. We're killing each other. And we're doing nothing about it. It's not really happening in Canada. But you know what? America is our retarded little brother. Oops. I'm just kidding. Can't say that shit anymore. (laughs) Why, though? It's just a word, right? It's like, you know, I'm not even going to get into it. Why should I even get into it, right? Okay, look, America is just south of us. And you know what? It doesn't matter what happens in Canada. America. America's news pretty well dominates anything that happens in Canada. We're flooded by your media. I'm not saying that's a good thing or a bad thing. But what I'm saying is I'm doing it for the views. (laughs) No. No, I'm not. Well, a little bit. You know? Just a little bit. But it's obviously not paying off for me because I don't get any views anyway. Although... Like I said earlier, a little bit has increased. I'm going way off track here. Don't even remember what I was talking about. All right. All I'm saying is, you know, every once in a while, we got to sit back and observe what's happening because it's getting out of hand. I'm going to fart. It's getting out of hand. And so it's better to have as many people coming together and just talking about it rather than sitting back, complaining, and expecting everyone else to do something about it. It's not like I'm doing anything about it. I'm just talking about it. But at least the effort can be put forth to spread awareness so that the people who really matter when it comes to these things understand that this is a real issue. And if it's not addressed sooner than later, there's going to be much more chaos in store in the future, soon. As bad as it may seem now, if nothing is done, it's only going to get worse. Dun, dun, dun! Okay, listen up, fellas. Everybody, listen up. Listen up. This is something I didn't want to have to do. I should say, don't really want to do and don't really need to do. But I fingered, I thought about it, and I was like, hey, you know what? Okay. We shall... Just go ahead and give it a shot. So here's the Della Russo. For me, it's a Friday. Same day. Uh, the H3 podcast episode number 133 was uploaded to to the YouTubes. Uh, and I actually haven't watched the whole thing yet. Like literally, when I got to the around the halfway point of this podcast, I paused it and I was like, I got to make a podcast. I got to record it right now because I got too much shit to talk about. And this is one of the things I want to talk about is what Ethan is about to touch on in this little segment I'm going to show. So I'm going to show the little segment. I'm going to pause it throughout 
like Ethan does, to talk about what is what he's talking about in this episode. Now, before I play it, before I talk about it, let me explain what's going on and what you're about to see. So, like I mentioned in like two or three episodes ago, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson put out a tweet pretty well directly after the El Paso shooting, basically saying, you know, he stated like five different other uh, factors of death in America, different things that attribute to death every day in America, and like, uh, you know, 500 medical errors, 300 people dies of the flu, however many to suicide, however many to car accidents. Okay, and people completely were completely outraged. And it's completely understandable why they would be, because people had died, like, moments earlier. And so... You know, I agree that it was bad timing for Neil to tweet something like this. I also feel like he should have been aware of what he was tweeting and how it could have affected himself in a negative way. Uh, I also feel that... But here's the, here's the thing. I feel like what Neil said... Uh, I should really bring it up. I should really just bring it up so we can... Neil deGrasse Tyson Twitty. So I feel, you know, he doesn't deserve all the hate that he's receiving right now. Um, he really has He hasn't tweeted since, to be honest. So he wrote, In the past 48 hours... The USA horrifically lost 34 people to mass shootings. On average, across any 48 hours, we also lose... 500 to medical errors, 300 to the flu, 250 to suicide, 200 to car accidents, and 40 to homicide via handgun. Often our emotions respond more to spectacle than to data. Okay. Absolutely everyone was outraged. Whoopsie daisies. Um, uh, including Ethan, okay, he was very upset, and it's understandable why, but if you were to ask Neil his motivation or intention to do or produce this, this tweet, he would not tell you that he did it in spite or to spite um, the victims of the mass shooting. He is not stating that the 500 to medical errors, the 300 to the flu, etc. are more of a concern than the people who were shot. He understands it's an act of terrorism, but the way Neil is trying what Neil is trying to portray uh he's trying he's trying <laughs> oh my god I'm doing terrible he's <laughs> he's trying to like put yourself outside the earth for a second imagine you're you're on you know you're just in space looking down on earth you're not part of the human race you're just observing what's going on. And he's looking at it from an observational perspective. He's saying, if you were to look at simply the data of the situation, there happens to be much more death across any 48 hours than any other mass shooting has done this year in America. Now, oh fuck, I lost my point here. So that doesn't mean 
fuck me. I totally just went blank here. Oh my god. I had I had something to say. Okay, so he's looking at it from an observational perspective, you know, from the from the data that's put forth. So what he's saying is that you know, uh if you look outside of the situation it's more it's more of a uh god why am i fucking blanking on this right now i had this all figured out <laughs> okay hum diggy dum diggy rum bum bay i don't want to come today Okay, here's so here's what's going on. Ethan completely disagrees, and so does many other people. They are actually, and you know what? Ethan is attacking him in this most recent episode of his podcast, um, and I do not agree with that uh, stance that Ethan is taking. I don't think he should have approached this situation that way because obviously that was not Neil's intentions. So let's just start the video right now and we'll talk through it. We're not going to watch the whole podcast, just just where he talks about this. Ahead a little bit too. Um, Neil smoked the grass Tyson's nah. worst tweet of all time. <laughs> okay. He goes, because I think what he's missing here even taking his tweet at face value, which I think is just stupid and awful, but he's what he's missing is the terrorism. Okay, yes. It's an act of terror. Here's the thing. Neil tweeted this, but here's, you need to understand Neil is a human, just like you, Ethan. Now, don't... Now, don't don't take this the wrong way. Obviously, Ethan, you're not going to watch this. But if for some miracle you, <laughs> you happen to see this, I'm not out to attack you, Ethan. I have much respect for you. I love everything you've ever done. And still continue to love everything you do to this day. I simply want to address my feelings towards the direction you're heading in calling out Neil deGrasse Tyson. So yes, it's an act of terrorism. Horrible. This is a horrible, horrible thing. Neil is not denying that. Neil is you got Neil is a is an astrophysicist. He spends every day of his waking life, probably even in his sleep constantly running data through his mind it's how his mind works it's almost robotic in a way he observes the universe and the earth and the, everything that happens on the earth a different in a you know in a different mindset than than you or me he thinks about things objectively he doesn't uh you know and with that being said that's you know that's what he's doing here in the tweet he's he's addressing an alternate way of approaching this particular incident so that you know he's trying he's trying to in, uh, enforce more positivity into the situation because whenever these situations happen it's complete misery for everyone and he understands that and, you know, it's a combination of that and the way that he thinks on a daily basis caused him to, you know, try to come up with some way to put a light on the situation. So he's not saying that the flu or medical errors are a more, uh, you know, more more important or whatever than, than gun shootings. He knows it's an act of terrorism and he knows it's horrible. He even says it in the in the first sentence. The US the USA horrifically lost thirty four people to mass shootings. Okay? He addressed the fact that it's a horrific situation. But he's trying to lighten the situation 
one of the only ways he knows how. But he's also trying to teach people at the same time. Because he's a, he's, uh, you know, I could say he's a teacher, which he definitely is, but, you know, he does, it's not like he has, he's not a professor. But he, he, uh, addresses himself as your personal astrophysicist because he wants to get as much information into young people as possible. He's trying to teach. So he's trying to teach and lighten the, the situation and also show some data at the same you know that's how he it's how he rolls it was never his intent to um you know have all these people hate hate on him he like he's not you know let's just continue to watch the video some more yeah it's psychological terrorism you cannot put a number on that this tweet really upset me this guy he's so but this tweet is so pathetic I'm Okay, no. Now look, I understand why you're mad, Ethan. But you can't just go and call the guy pathetic. Okay? This is this is this is an example of this whole cancer culture. God, this is <laughs> How did I ever get put in this situation? Why why am I doing this, you know? But I it's just I'm glad I'm doing it, to be honest. I just need to say it. You know, Ethan, that was not his intention. But let's just move on. Yes, break it down, please. Okay, also I want to say, just because you don't understand his intention doesn't mean you should belittle the guy. Okay, you can hate what he did, you can hate his tweet. But understand, there was no hatred meant to be spread from Neil deGrasse Tyson. Back-to-back -back shooting said, In the past 48 hours, the USA horrifically lost 34 people to mass shootings. On average, across any 48 hours, we also lose 500 to medical errors. By the way, this number is hotly contested in the comments. Mm -hmm. 300 to the flu. Uh. 250 to suicide. Okay, I agree that's an error. 200 to car accidents. He should have got his facts straight, for sure. 40 to homicide via handgun. Often our emotions respond more to spectacle than to data. Well, uh... First of all, the timing, bro. The fucking timing. Yes. I'll agree with Ethan on this. Bad, bad timing. You see, because of Neil's analytical way of thinking, the idea of this, you know, timing a tweet maybe really didn't occur to him at the time. And I'm not saying Neil's a fucking robot. Like, he's still a human. So, yeah, he thinks analytically, but he, he still thinks, I'm sure, on a rational level, like of any other normal person, human being so it kind of you know i kind of wonder why he didn't think that the timing would be bad to produce a tweet like this yeah and th and, and and second of all what is he trying to <coughs> what is he trying to here's another thing really Ela more than ethan doesn't understand exactly what Neil's trying to produce with this tweet but I already explained that and so that's a that's you know that's not a reason to just belittle the guy it's tweet yeah it's hard to say I mean he's trying to put it in the context I guess and saying hey it's not that bad I but mean uh, it's okay no like I said Ethan's trying to trying to say that Neil's saying oh the shootings aren't so bad we should worry about this more than this no that is definitely not what he's saying. Really? Is that what he's trying to say? I don't no. know what other he's trying to no. say. He's going like, look, we're all getting super upset about, you know, these mass shootings, but uh, it's really not that big of a deal. No, also, no. excuse me for getting emotional. Um, are we allowed to get emotional? I don't what understand. Do you mean? Is that a bad thing all of a sudden? Yes, I'm emotional. 
I, think... I don't want to hear about a baby dying because okay, someone yeah, shot yeah, him. Yeah, I see what or saying. a baby not having parents now because someone shot his parents. Well, that's just because... He's not telling you not to be emotional, though. He's simply stating... He's simply stating that we... That our emotion, our emotions respond more to spectacle than to data. That is a fact. And it's, it's true. He's not telling you not to be emotional. He's just trying to en enlighten what humans do. He's, he's trying to make us observe the situation from a different point of view. That's all he's doing. He's not tr he's not trying to he's not telling you to not be emotional. Of course you're going to be emotional. And you know what if one of the medical errors happened to one of your family members, you'd be emotional as well. You respond more to spectacle than data, according to Neil. No, man, I'm a human but, being but with the, emotions. The comparison is so tone deaf. I mean, it's just it's honestly for someone who's supposed to be so smart, this is one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. To the flu? Do you not think we're trying to prevent people from dying from the flu? Bro, we've been trying- He knows this. He knows we're trying to prevent the flu. And we have been forever. But look how many people are still dying from the flu. We're not even trying to stop gun control, and there's still a significantly less amount of people that are dying from guns. He's not saying it's not wrong. Of course it's wrong. It's just... The <laughs> Whatever. Trying to find a cure to the flu for, since we fucking knew that the yes. vaccines were a thing. Of course. What do you think we're not doing about Of course. Mm -hmm. He's implying that somehow we should be more worried about But look how many people are still these. dying. What can I do about the flu, Neil? Oh my God. There's already the flu shot. People are not taking it. People die. Flu. It's the flu. The flu. It's the flu. It's killed more people than anything. It's the flu, Neil. Why should random horrific mass shootings be even comparable to the flu? It's not. The flu. Okay. Neil. Look at how fucking obnoxious he's being. Yes, I understand he's doing it for comedic purposes. But on a certain level, he's completely serious right now. If you just look at the tweet and it just analyze it properly, you're going to understand those were not his intentions. So don't belittle the guy when you don't understand what's going on. Well, Neil... What am I medical heirs? What am I supposed to do about medical heirs? Hotly contested figure, by the way. You're I'm taking sure the it completely has out of their context. Own procedures to handle those errors. You yeah. Know? Hey, hey, uh, guys, we should be more worried about medical errors. No, that's not what he's saying. Shut the fuck up. You should. The problem <laughs> is that it feels like no one is doing anything about mass shootings. Exactly. And by the way. And this is why everyone's getting so emotional and it and they should be. Well, Neil is saying it's not an issue. Uh, no. Dan, what do you think? Uh, about okay, 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 so Dan's about to talk. Now I love the fact that Dan is part of this whole production. Because they bring Dan in on a lot of touchy subjects quite often. And you know what? I fucking love Dan. Huh. I don't agree with everything Dan says, but, you know, Dan has a rational perspective way of thinking, although he definitely does still find a way to side with both Ethan and Ela, which is totally understandable. But what he, what he says right now is very, uh, very considerate tweet yes yeah i mean uh, uh, like you said uh, i think you know it, it's it is rational to get upset about something that is preventable happening you know what i mean and it's like i mean i 
I do understand what he's trying to say, but like you said, it's just so fucking. What is he up. trying to say? What is he trying to say? Yes, well, he, he's to trying to say just like from a, a a completely you know detached way. You it's know, not that big of a deal. It, it's he's in trying short. to point out like how people are more afraid of dying in a plane crash than dying in a car accident, even though you're way more likely to die in a car accident. And it's like, it, yeah, I, I I understand that point, That's but dumb. But regardless, it's like. It, it's not okay. comparable so, because so let me write a Neil deGrasse Tyson tweet on September 12th Okay, very, very the day well after the, the World September Trade Center. 11. Yeah, he yeah. goes he goes, uh, you know We did lose 3,000 people to a terrorist attack, but the flu in that same amount of time Within a week kills more people. So it's very so really you we don't need to worry about that <laughs> no. Yeah also, First off, I don't even know if he's I don't know. Said for me, growing World up Trade in Center. Israel, there's all there was always like th there would be a new trend of terrorist attack. Mm -hmm. Like they'll have a new kind of thing that works that they figured out to get to people. But then what you would see is the government taking action towards that new thing. Right. And you would see changes. Right. Things will be addressed. You'll you'll have a few terror attacks, mm -hmm. and then they figure out a way to stop. Yes. At no point in that tweet did Neil say. There shouldn't be anything done to prevent these terrorism acts. Until there is a new kind. But there is nothing happening here. No right, one is doing anything. Thing. Well, and, and, and part of that's why this tweet the point is so point of bad the tweet. is that he's kind of... I feel like this is a right-wing or well, a, a gun NRA talking point that he's kind of parroting. And I've seen this tweet being celebrated by like... A, NRA and people like that who are opposed to gun change because he what he's saying is basically hey this isn't a, it, this isn't a problem no nope. we're all over, it's over not what he's responding saying. to it it's not what he's saying um, but the truth is that uh, with 250 mass shootings this year I don't think that any sane person could say that the status quo is fine it's far from fine he's not um, saying that you know what's funny is the two two of the items here, 250 to suicide. That's usually gun by, by by guns, and 40 by handgun. I don't know why he even included that. You fucking imbecile. Okay, come on. Um, is also gun violence. It's so weird because we all know that he's a really smart, intelligent guy. Hmm? I mean, you keep saying you're imbecile, which I understand why you're saying it. it seems. Like the dumbest tweet, and considering the timing of it, mm -hmm. which just doesn't make sense to me. Why would he do that? I don't know. 200 car accidents. Yeah, well. Again, I'll say this again. I agree. He should have just never done this tweet. He should have never put it out. We really didn't need it. But his intentions were completely honorable. Um, and I'll say this as well. Although it doesn't affect me as much as it affects Ethan, to a certain extent, you know, I'm not going to say I disagree with the tweet because it's it's all fact. I can't disagree with facts. But I'll I'll disagree with his decision to post this tweet I do not I do not think he should have posted this at all. Horrible timing. But you know what? I'm sure Ethan has put out a tweet like this that he may have not realized that it would be a regrettable decision once people actually got a hold of it. You know, how often does Neil actually tweet something that causes outrage? I mean, I'm sure there's a few other times, but it's no reason to completely attack the guy. I could understand if he was completely inconsiderate and made the victims feel like shit, but in nowhere in this tweet was that an intention of his. So we got to, you know, you got to play with the context. Don't just attack the guy because that's the trend. You know, 
that's the that's the Twitter trend. People see it trending on Twitter, they automatically think, "Oh, that's the side I need to take." No. Analyze it a bit. Figure it out. Figure Neil out. You know, you can't you can't figure out someone's intentions if you don't understand who they are and why they would tweet something like this because you're not you know, it's like it's like trying to like talking to someone face to face. You got their facial clues, like the way that the faces they make, the the little laughs they put in the conversation, the way that they say their sentences with the highs and lows. You know, someone could say to you, you're a fucking cunt, you know? Or they can go, you're a fucking cunt, you know? And that same same thing, but it's the context really puts it out there. So when someone just tweets something, it can completely be taken out of context. And this shouldn't have been. It's a completely valid tweet, although I agree it should not have been released. There's no reason to completely belittle the guy. Call him out. Tell the reasons why you disagree. But don't uh, attack him personally. Hmm. Well, I get this his point. Since 200 people did die in a car accident, I guess I shouldn't worry about all the mass shootings. 34 people. Well, and also, a lot more people used to die. Okay, don't attack him. I should say this. Don't attack him and don't misrepresent him. Okay? Because they don't really understand his intent behind this. Intent is so key, and that is something people completely disregard nowadays car accidents and then we implemented a bunch of laws to make cars safer and mandatory seat belts and all kinds mm -hmm. of things you know we we took right. action on that so. right and yes. the, the point is that everything he listed here is stuff that we are trying to improve yeah. with the exception yes. of suicide and handguns which is kind of part of the same He's issue not saying we should not try um, to improve the gun violence it it, it in, doesn't in, in, in make a, in a positive it way. doesn't and anyway the the bigger part that he's missing is the terrorism Right, like in El Paso, it's not, it, sh it shouldn't be under the same category. It's not about as a medical error. Look at fucking Al Qaeda. They blew up the World Trade Center and they fucked our whole society up. Comparatively, it's not that much damage, but it's the terrorism, it's the psychological warfare, that uh, that's 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 the real damage. that's really damaging. Yeah. It's, so, it's cities that everyone in that area yes, where something happened will be traumatized him. forever. It's so much damage. So what he's saying in his really, really uh, empathetic tweet is, hey, don't even trip, dog. Nope. <laughs> not that big of a deal. Nope. Chances are you're not going to be killed by a by a homegrown terrorist. Just smoke the grass. Well, that is Tyson. true, but yeah, that's just the, grass, that's just the fact anyway, that I, he's I, stating. I this he's not the trashiest thing I ever read. See, there he goes again, um, calling him trashy. And then he tried to explain it in like a follow-up thing, and I still don't oh, what really. Yeah, he made an apology that I just saw this morning that was. Okay, you uh, know what? We're going to take it that far because they talk about the apology. And you know what? Here's the thing about the apology. Um, yes, it comes across as not sincere, but... You know, that is simply because Neil, uh, you know, if you were to truly ask him, you know, just coming from what I just talked about, he, if you understand the intent of the tweet, he had no intention of uh, making people angry. So there's no reason for him to apologize in the first place. But because it got taken so out of hand, there's nothing he could do other than apologize. He can't just, at you know, at this point, he can't just, uh, you know, turn a blind eye and not even mention it. So he has to, so he has to address it at this point. So that's what he's doing. He's apologizing in a way such as to say, I regret, you know, 
producing this tweet, but I don't feel the the hate is genuine. So with that being said, I'm sorry, but this is just, you know, this this is just the facts that I'm stating. You know, this is the the truth of the matter. And so, you know, they go on to say that it wasn't sincere and blah, 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 blah. But you know what? I don't just want to, I don't want this to turn out to be a way of people thinking that, oh, I'm just out to, to hate on Ethan. Because I'm not, you know, I'm simply, I simply disagree with, with what is being said here. You know, I can still like a guy and disagree with him happens all the time and that's that's the way the world should be but it's not really that way so i want to say again if ethan happens to be watching which i know he's not um no no hatred towards you no hatred towards Ela. uh still and you know i don't ca- i don't know how you're gonna take it uh which obviously you're not going to take it anyway because you aren't watching this. But I, I just feel the need to address the fact that I have no hatred towards you, Ethan. Just in case. You know? Just in case. Just needs to be said. Yes, my friends. Yes, 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 yes. So why don't we, with that being said, uh, let's move on to our next little topic of discussion. Uh, so the Presidente, uh, Trump, and his uh, lovely wife, what the fuck's her name? Doesn't matter. Okay, well, so here's the Della Russa. Again, more shooting coverage. We're going to be talking a little bit about here it's related to that um people got shot there were there was a couple a mother and father uh who were both killed trying to protect their infant child uh the infant survived both parents had died this baby was put in a hospital you know for recovery purposes and then was later released. Uh, and a guy named Jim Acosta. He's the CNN's chief White House correspondent. He put out this tweet. He showed a piece. So you can see it here. Picture of Donald Trump. And what's her name? Ivanka? No, that's that's his daughter, right? Melania. Melania. Melania's holding the baby. Okay. Uh, Trump's got his thumb up in the air and a big fat fucking smile on his face. And so does Melania. And I don't know who that guy is on the left. Don't know who the girl is on the right. But Jim writes in this tweet, A hospital official confirms to CNN that this is the baby who was brought back to the hospital to meet with Trump and Flotus, Melania, after the child had been discharged. The two-month-old's parents, Jordan and Andre and Chuck Kondo died protecting him during the El Paso shooting. Okay? Uh, so you can, right away, if you haven't seen this already, you can understand why the controversy has spread against this picture. Because we've got an infant child whose parents had just been brutally murdered and the president and his wife, the first lady, are holding him in their arms with a big fat smile on their face and a thumbs up to the camera. Apparently, um, once this child was released, they called the hospital and told you know, the nurses to bring him back so they could use him in a photo shoot. Uh... <sighs> It's, you know, the older I get, the more I start to realize that 
this world is a truly you know it's it's cra- it's not only crazy but it's what's the word you know i can't even think of the word which i ha- always have trouble thinking of the word but it's it's crazy and kind of unbelievable unpredictable the things you see on a daily basis are just strange and it often makes me wonder as I was a child obviously I wouldn't even care about this these issues like if you brought these issues to me as a 10 year old kid I wouldn't even not only would I not care but I wouldn't even understand what you were trying to say to me which goes for every kid. Well, not every, you know, there's, there's a few exception, exceptional children out there who are pretty smart, but for the most part, a child's not going to, you know, stuff like this is just going to go in through one ear and out the other. All they care about is uh, their toys and video games and whatever else, masturbating, you know, the important stuff. <laughs> but... So, yeah, like, when I was a child, I often wonder what what was going on then that I would have reacted just like I'm reacting to this stuff if I was this age back then, if you know what I'm saying. Because I'm almost 25 now, and I'm starting to focus more and more every day on real world issues and events which is something I'd never thought I would ever do but that is what interests me now so isn't that a lovely picture if you were the president of the United States of America would you do something like this and if so why um oh ooh, 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 more presidential candidate stuff people yes this is a uh, an election i'm going to be talking about this stuff once the election's over i'll move on to whatever else is going on but uh, there's too many things that happen. Too many things that are happening. Hold on, I just gotta make a note here. Bop, 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 bop. There's, too, there's too many crazy things going on. Too much stuff to cover. Um, so Joe, Mr. Joe Biden, one of the candidates running for president this year, 2020. Uh, He's already been in the news once, well, more than once, but most recently for um, stating that his his website is Biden30330 or some shit, or Joe, Joe 3, whatever, you know, he fucked it up completely. Um, he sh- he was supposed to say text Iowa two three zero three three zero, but he he uh, he he stated that that was his website and not a text a text service. Anyway, he's back in the news. He had you know done some sort of campaign speech. And let me tell you, my giggity aunt, if you haven't seen this already, this is just, uh, you know, this is just an example of an old man who's out of touch with the way society runs now, I think, because I can't really... You know, it's either that or he meant to state this another way and he just fucked up a bit. You know? Anyway, let's just watch. Let's just watch 
and see what the guy had to say. And you tell me when you have figured out when you found the controversial part. And the other thing we should do is we should challenge these students. We should challenge students in these schools to have advanced placement programs in these schools. We have this notion that somehow if you're poor, you cannot do it. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Wealthy kids, black kids. I love how everyone claps. <laughs> okay, so if you didn't finger it out yet, uh, let's watch it again. Bright and just as talented as white wap, kids. Wap, wap, wap. Poor, you cannot do it. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Poor kids are just as talented, just as smart as white kids. <sighs> so now this is something reasonable to call the guy out on okay and Ethan has it's good for you Ethan <laughs> uh, poor kids are just as smart as white kids I mean, I'm trying to think of a way to interpret this other than the way it's being interpreted. Because obviously, he's saying, you know, white kids are smart and poor kids are not white. <laughs> uh, yeah? Like, how? What? Uh, what else could he possibly mean there? Right? Because not all white kids are smart, and not wa not all white kids are rich, or have money. Even there's lots of poor white families. Poor kids are just as smart as white kids. I mean, that statement alone can ruin your whole campaign, especially in in today's politically correct climate. You know. So, I, obviously, I do not agree with this. But let me tell you. I know people who would 100% agree with this statement. Because I happen to live in a shithole. <laughs> I live in a place where... Mm, maybe I shouldn't say anything. But there's a lot of white old farmers and oil field workers around where I'm from. Not from where I live. And they flaunt little racism slurs and, and the N-word around all the time. Just as, you know, part of a conversation... They refer to people in certain ways. And if they were to hear this, even if they didn't agree with what Joe Biden is running for, uh, they'll agree with this statement. I don't, obviously. I don't. But as soon as I heard this, I immediately think about those people. That's the first thought that comes to my mind is, oh, you know what? If that person was in this room right now, they'd be like, fuck yeah, he's fucking right. I mean, fuck, fuck all these black guys. But they'd say it a different way. You know, they're all, they're all fucking poor. They, they, they can make their way just as easy as us, but they're fucking lazy and they get hands up. Blah, blah, blah. I'm surrounded by this shit. I'm surrounded by it. I need to escape. I need to hop on a freight train and go somewhere. Go to Mars. Who wants to go to Mars with me? Let's pack our shit, go to Mars. 
We'll start a new colony. We'll call it the... We'll call ourselves the... The... Uh, we'll just call ourselves the Martians. I don't care if you're... If you're black or white or... Or Asian or... Or a camel. You're a Martian. If you're on Mars... With my new crew... You're a Martian. So yeah, that's some news. That's some news that's going on. Joe Biden ruined his campaign. Good for him. Uh, and you can see he tried to recover it, but he kind of just made it worse. Uh, we got So we got a few more things to talk about here. Just two more. And then you know what, fellas? Ladies and... Uh, Gentlefish, we're going to move on to some Reddit. How long have I been going? Let's see here. Uh, oh, one hour and 11 minutes. Wow. Okay, we're just going to do the last two really quick here. Um, uh, we got presidential, presidential candidate Andrew Yang once again. Um, New York Post posted this tweet. Presidential candidate Andrew Yang wants to make Tax Day a national holiday. They do not state whether they're for or against this, um, but I'm thinking they're against this because of the picture they posted of Andrew under this headline. Look at the look at look at this picture. <laughs> Why would they pick this picture? Out of all the pictures, why would they pick this picture? What are they trying to say? I mean, could they have picked a more unflattering picture? <laughs> He's got a full turkey leg. And <laughs> he is just mowing down on that thing. Full of wide open mouth. I don't even know why he's holding it that way. Like, shouldn't he have it sideways at least? He's really trying to force that down his throat right now. <laughs> so I can't imagine, you know, I can't imagine the New York Times being anything but against tax day being a national holiday. And even Andrew Yang himself, he uh, replied saying, ha ha. That photo kills. <laughs> so he's, you know, he's he's handling the situation properly in a good way. Oops, I'm not going to like the New York Post, but I'll like Andrew Yang's. Whoa, look what we got here. So, someone posted a, a, multiple pictures of, <laughs> of different yeah, people eating corn dogs, and this guy's got ice cream. <laughs> it's <laughs> you know how Chris D'Elia kind of coined that term, "sa bitch." <laughs> he points out when people are being so bitch when they're doing stuff, and this is like as bitch as it can get. There's no way you can eat a corn dog or ice cream and look cool. Like he, he this guy doesn't even have it in his mouth yet. <laughs> and he looks so weak and it's it's crazy how these just a simple just one second, you know, a moment in someone's life while they're eating. They're just so vulnerable. Right? Just looking at them, like, look how vulnerable they look. Just a bunch of weak people eating a fucking corn dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh-oh. Me mouse is dying. I'm glad I found that. Oh, look. They even got one of Andrew Yang. Eat look how he's eating shit. So why does he eat shit like this? Oh, okay. But he's still getting 
Is he doing this because he knows he's getting pictures taken of him and he doesn't want to look like a little bitch? Or, or does he just eat things weird? Like, see, that's how you eat a turkey leg. Sideways. He eats a he eats a corn dog like he eats a turkey leg like you're okay he eats a corn dog like you're supposed to eat a turkey leg and then he eats a turkey leg like you're supposed to eat a corn dog What the fuck kind of backwards ass shit is this Andrew Yang Very very interesting Found something else, found something new out wasn't expecting that Okay, the last thing, uh, Theo Vaughn tweeted this. Uh, many other people, people, people tweeted this. But uh, I happened to pick this up through Theo Vaughn's uh, retweet. And he, he, he posted, uh, or he titled, he titled his tweet, Gang, with like six A's. Because that's one of his little slogans. Gang, gang. And you know, he's got that southern accent. From Louisiana. And and this guy in this uh, news interview. I think he's from Louisiana. Sounds just like Theo Vaughn. But it's pretty uh, kind of entertaining. So would you like to watch? This, I don't need it. I don't need to give you any context. You'll You'll, you'll get all the context you need. As the tree was cut down and landed right onto a parked vehicle, totaling it. We're told that car belongs to a Marshall student. You can imagine how upset Marshall. she had to be when she came outside and saw her car looking like this. Here's a little of what that witness had to say. Sounded like a beer can getting flat. It just was of course crunch. It did. I hate to say it, it was kind of cool. <laughs> you know, I mean, what? Guy, what you know, doesn't like you know, yeah, yeah you know, it's like demolition derbies. But hey, you know, bottom line, that's that poor girl's new car, and she can't get to school now. <laughs> the city spokesperson <laughs> said, She can't get to school now. <laughs> the way he says that is so ridiculous. It's like you know, destruction, yeah, you know, that's why we go to demolition derbies, but hey. You know, bottom line, that's that poor girl's new car, and she can't get to school now. <laughs> the city spokesperson says... <laughs> it sounds like a fucking... Like the <laughs> that sounds like an actor or something, you know? You know, bottom line, that's that poor girl's new car, and she can't get to school now. <laughs> that doesn't even sound genuine. She can't get to school now. Like, he's really concerned about her. Ah. I wish I had an accent like that. No, I don't, actually. I, well, here's the thing. I grew up on the eastern side of Canada on a small island. Well, it's not that small. It's a decent sized island. Let me show you a picture. Everybody that want okay, the island was called or is called Cape Cape Breton. My hometown. My home island, okay? Let's take a look here. And it is it's also where Frankie McDonald is from. Uh so here's what the island looks like. Beautiful looking island, isn't it? Looks like a fucking baseball mitt or something. It's wonderful, and it's beautiful there. I love it. I love Cape Breton. Anyway, out there they have quite the strong accent. Not as quite as strong as Newfoundland. Newfoundland's another island close by. Is it an island? It must be. It's out in the middle of the water, in the ocean. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so... It's, you know, if you're not from Nova Scotia, you would go there and say, oh, this is a Newfoundland accent. Well, eat a dick, okay? It doesn't really bother me that much anymore, but, you know, when you're from there, you know the difference between a Newfoundland accent and a Nova Scotia accent. Bottom line, 
No one will understand unless you're from there. Just like uh, in Ireland, there's different fucking dialects, you know, like every fucking town. Or maybe that's Scotland. I don't know. But if you're if you're not from there and you go there, you you just think, oh, all these people sound ridiculous. They all have this weird accent. But if you're really from there, you can tell the difference between each. And so what I'm trying to say is there was a point in time when I had a very strong Cape Bretoner accent. And I completely, not only did I completely lose it, I can barely replicate it anymore. Like I used to, uh, like back in my high school days, I lost it, but I could still replicate it. But now, like I'd have to, you know, I'm sure if I watched a few videos of people talking like that again, I'd be able to replicate it right away. And like when I go back there, it comes, I can make a comeback after just talking to everybody, but yeah, I'm not really good at accents anyway, but I I I kind of miss having that accent. It was it was a real it's a real defining point of yourself and others around you. And having an accent that's strong and thick and unique and you use words that no one else uses it's really f- it, you know it's fun. Like it uh it really it really allows you to be a personality, a great personality. It's hard to explain, but anyway, fuckers, let's do some sh- some shred it. Ah, my balls. Uh, 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 next fucking level. Let's watch. Oh look, speaking of Canada, looks like we have ourselves a. Well, it might not be a Canadian. He's wearing a Pittsburgh jersey, but. It don't matter. There's fucking Canadians that like Pittsburgh. Actually, Sidney Crosby, who is on the Pittsburgh Pongwans, he's from not far away from where I lived in Cape Breton. Can't exactly remember where he was from, but it was close to where I live. Anyway, that's besides the point. Go, buddy. Go, buddy. Lathers, buddy. Lathers. Oh, ah, the music! Okay, so my last two videos have been claimed, <sighs> and this one's probably gonna get fucking claimed as well. He's wearing a Crosby jersey as well, which is, you know, pretty uh. Expected. If you're gonna wear a Pittsburgh Penguins jersey, it's more than likely gonna be Sidney Crasby. This girl has a serious drinking problem. Let's see. Why were they filming? This is in the why were they filming? This is not really a why were they filming. Because she was probably gonna chug that beer. That's why they were filming. Right? Watch for rocks. Let's see what happens here. Oh, shit. I was not expecting that. But that's that's not real, though. That's photoshopped. Would have been way better if it was actually him, though. I must say. My grandparents have glassed over well in their kitchen. Have a glassed over well in their kitchen. What? Wait, what? It's something that'll be awesome until the day you hear tapping. Look down and you see something tapping on the glass on the other side. Ooh. That's we- Why does it have like trees and shit in it though? That's weird. (sighs) 
<sighs> what if I try that again? What could go wrong? This should be a good one. Usually people on treadmills are pretty funny. Oh, she's checking out that girl. Oh, oh. She gets up. No problem. No problem. Is she going to get back on? Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Why don't you shut the shit off, girl? See, look, this, this girl knows what to do. She's like, stop that shit and then get back on. What the fuck are you thinking, girl? Eight-story building, which was under construction, collapses. Oh, is it a video? Is it a video? It is a video. <gasps> Oh my, oh my god, oh my god, it collapsed, oh my god. This is how hot it is in Saudi Arabia. Ooh, this should be good. Yeah, I've been complaining about how hot it is in Canada. I could just imagine how hot it is out there. What is that? What is that? Looks like a lizard. He's coming to get water, I bet. Oh, he's coming for the shade. Oh. Oh my god. That is crazy. That lizard. He's just looking for shade. It's that hot. Fuck, man. I wonder how hot it is there. Ask me anything. I'm a 19-year-old female worker in a maximum security prison housing only male offenders. Well, look at this. Nature's metal. Damn right it is. Cameraman did a good job filming this. Let's see. Oh, I remember this. What the fuck? I don't remember all that shit, though. Dad, let's take a picture that will make mommy angry, 1970. Ha, 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 cigarettes and beer. Cigarettes and beer! Want to see a maybe, maybe, maybe? Maybe. Old man at a at a playground. That's usually a good sign. Sits on a swing. Goes for a swing. Looks like he's struggling. Ugh, just farted. Man, he really doesn't know how to do this, does he? He's trying way too hard. You know what? I can't even go on swings anymore. I puke. Oh, wow. He hit his ankles. Oh, my God. He did the old backflip get off the swing technique. And he's older than the hills. Firefighters in reverse. Is this going to be depressing? Oh, <laughs> they're putting everyone back inside. Get in there. That's a weird sight. Completely, uh, complete legalization of modern of marijuana. Lit the burn. Bernie 420. Okay. Oh, that's a weird shot. Totally thought that was her leg. The pu This public Lego building expo at the Tate Modern in London. Everyone is free to take part and build using only white pieces. It's like an improvised micro city. Let's see. 
Well. That is freaking cool. Do you have to be a professional Lego builder or can you be anybody? Because it looks like everybody's a fucking profesh. This would be fun. It's cool how as human beings we can all just get together in a place like this and not knock all these Legos over. Like, you think there'd be at least one asshole who would just slide through the table or something. But there, there usually isn't. And that's a, that's a good thing. <sighs> that, is a, that is a beautiful thought. <laughs> I'm a great person for thinking that. <laughs> Excuse me, Sutter. Have you seen any pick-a-nick baskets? Uh, bin collectors surprise one of their favorite customers on her 100th birthday. Ugh. Cobra hatching. Ew. Okay, that's enough of that. Collecting oil with ice. That looks like some hot oil. Oh! Oh, that's interesting. Wow. That is a really neat idea. Oh. Oh, that is a fuck of an idea. I'm going to give that a like. And a save. Got tired of constantly recharging the power wheels. Decided to go solar. Kids can use it all day if it's sunny. Oh, I got confused there for some reason. Maybe he put a solar panel on his child's power wheels. Her name is Moose Chax. Who cares? Bow down to the czar, you bitch. He spelled czar wrong. Just forces him down. And the bartender, bop, bop. No one cares. Introducing the flying disc. Pendulum animation. Would you like to see a pendulum? That is a Newton's cradle. Bing bong ching chong. Nazi getting what he deserves. Oh. Let's watch this. You want to fight, brah? Punch in the face. You knocked out, brah. Bam. Take it out, motherfucker. What the fuck is happening? Would you like to see what the fuck is happening? We got a woman. Oh, that's loud. Push to add drama. Is this a TV show? <laughs> oh boy. What the hell? Wow. Did he push the button yet? I wanted to see the rest of that. I wanted to see the rest of that. What do the comments have to say? I would have no finger left after how much I would have hit that button. Mm. 
Mm. Ow, touch my arm. Oh. Uh oh. You saw my band aid. I know what you're thinking. You left it on there for people to ask questions, didn't you? No, I didn't. Forgot about it. Kids born in in 2000 or 25 years. Let that sink in. That's not... It's not true. You've been doing meth instead of math. Uh, no, no. I don't know if I can say it. Okay, so this has showed up twice, so I guess we got to watch this. What if a drone's batteries go dead? We're about to find out. Doesn't it come back before the batteries die? Oh, fuck! I'm gonna get fucking claimed! God damn it! I've seen this video already anyway. It's an old video. <laughs> gonna get claimed, I bet you. Bet you any money. Gonna get claimed. Actually, my last video, my last two videos got claimed. Uh, episode 101 got claimed by two separate uh, companies. But one of them dropped the claim. I didn't even have to dispute it. They dropped it. And I have been disputing. For the most part. Sometimes I don't bother disputing because obviously the music got snuck into there and there's really nothing you can do about it. But the shitty thing is, you can't even like accidentally play a second of a song. Even straight up content sometimes. Like TMZ, those bastards, they'll get you. They'll fucking get you. And they'll get you hard. <laughs> yeah, they'll get you hard, all right. Uh, 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 so if this video gets claimed, I'll let you know. Let's end it off with this creeper. Uh, it's probably going to suck, but let's watch it anyway. Whoops. Opened it in another window. Who can say you're the man? Uh, let's see. What is it? What is it, folks? Oh. Yeah, see, I told you it was shitty. Let's end on something better than this. Hold on. Too afraid to ask. YouTube is promoting legit scams. Why is no one doing anything about it? It's really long. Don't want to read it. College girl and high school senior decide to do a long distance. After a month of dating, one month in, destroying... Destroy. I was like, oh, you roast me. I should have seen that. He stuck his head in a tree. Never stick your head in a hole in a tree just to see what's in it. Damn, that sucks, dick. This pillar by luggage claim that looks like a pile of luggage. <gasps> oh, wow, that's fucking cool. Whoa. Why does the water look like that? Is that just the bubbles? I used to have bearded dragons. And then I ate them. Okay, folks. What is this? Give me a video, for fuck's sakes. Okay, here we go. No. Nope. Bunch of garbage is what we're seeing. Look who it is. It's Mr. Yang. Eating that turkey leg. Jack Black is everything a kid wants to be between a movie star, rock star, and famous YouTuber. 
Uh, did we see this already? If not, we're still going to end on this no matter what. She got... Ooh. Ooh, damn. He's impressed. <laughs> He's impressed, boy. He's like, oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. She's better than I thought. She's fucking better than I, th than I fucking thought. Oh, I bet he's got an instantaneous, a bone air. Guaranteed the fucker has a boner. I would. Young lad like him. <laughs> uh, just if you're, if you're like, oh, shut up, that gut thing. Well, just imagine when you were a fucking 15-year-old kid or however old he is. He looks younger than 18. And you see a sexy woman, same age as you, shove a whole banana down her throat <laughs> and spit it back out. <laughs> I mean, if that doesn't get your willy wonking, then I don't know what will. Who can say you're my... B okay, folks. Enough of the gay jokes. Seems like these podcasts are getting longer and longer every time I do them. Remember George of the Jungle? Okay, folks. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, episode 102. Please like. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> subscribe leave a comment hit that bell notification there's all kinds of shit you gotta do if you wanna if you wanna go to Mars with me if you wanna be a Martian you gotta hit that like button you gotta subscribe you gotta comment you don't have to hit the bell notification to be honest I used the bell notification for other people for a little while, and then I was like, this is dumb. I'm going to look for their video anyway. Whether I'm notified or not. So I don't use it. But if if you don't use YouTube as frequent as I do, does, then the bell notification is very... It's good for you. It's good for you. You should use it. Me, I'm on YouTube every day. So I do not need it. Okay? So fucking tell me I fucking need it, you fucker. Uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this episode. See you in the next one. Hopefully. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. There, she spit. Look how angry she is. Shaky rock, shake that bot, shake that booty. Boom, shake that booty, shake that booty. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't shut up, you're gonna get fucking claimed. Sorry. Don't apologize. Just don't fucking sing that shit. Who can say it's a blah 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 blah? I said, stop it.